Women fight fires, too. It's a message local fire departments want to get out, and they want to recruit more women. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, fewer than 5% of career firefighters are women. I spoke with one local agency that's actively working to change that. One, two, three. Whether responding to an accident or a house in flames, these women are ready to save lives and serve their community. I wanted a job that was mentally and physically challenging. Evelyn Peoples is the first woman to go through Morrisville's Fire Academy. It was maybe a little bit intimidating at first, but I think that like finding good role models along the way. Among them, Natasha Bird. Several years ago, she left a career in pharmaceuticals to become a firefighter. I'd always liked the idea of being a firefighter and just went for it. But she says when she told some people about her decision, she didn't get much encouragement. I was told that I would never be able to succeed in the fire service. They told me that women just don't really make it. She proved them wrong and is now a master firefighter with the Morrisville Fire Department. We're very open-minded. We're, I like to say that we're a new age fire department. Leaders in Morrisville's fire department say they're working to recruit more women by changing living arrangements to individual rooms, making sure there are opportunities to connect with family during 24-hour shifts, and ensuring accommodations for breastfeeding moms. We're trying to have a whole new demographic here in Morrisville. I chose Morrisville because I wanted like the small town feel. I think that it's really important that being a female but also just being in a high stress environment that you want to work with people who you're going to be really, really close with. And here we kind of have that family dynamic. Now both women hope their work will inspire young girls who also dream of being firefighters. It makes me want to do my job even better and let them know that there's not uh, gender boundaries separating them from what they want to do. Well, I asked if they have any advice for women who are interested in becoming firefighters. They both said, just go for it.